Jacob Gillier, the all-time leader in steals in college basketball Division I history. Meanwhile, for Davidson, Foster Lawyer, he's been a revelation for the Wildcats, the transfer from Michigan State. He's exactly what Bob McKill received yesterday, 68 to 64. First time in the 8-10 championship game since 2011. They beat Dayton that year to go to the NCAA tournament. Gustafson, the drive, tough move, it hangs on the rim, wouldn't go down, comes away with the offensive rebound. They get a reload if he can clear it, and it's too high, even for Golden. Yep. Over and back. Yeah, very rare at this team getting out of control in terms of passing the basketball. That was a beauty, though, by Golden to the corner, and then it goes over his head right here. Fortunately, he gets a hand on it there before Roya can get that ball and go in for a layup. Jimmy, they only had five turnovers yes. in the victory over Dayton yesterday. Yeah, both of these teams only average 10, just a smidge under 10. Get that little smidge in there for you early. Oh, thanks. That's on your March Madness bingo card. <laughs> Menenga sets the screen. Lawyer needs some help. Menenga from New Zealand. The back in. Boy, it was very uh, close and it felt late yeah, live. I agree with you on that one. And officials early on. Davidson won the Atlantic 10 tournament back in 2018. Last time they went to the NCAA tournament. Their resume is excellent this season. And Jerry Palm. CBS Sports Own believes they'll be in the tournament either way, no matter what the result is today. The trip, and it's Burton who goes down. Foul called against Davidson, and a hard one against Lawyer. Yeah, that, yeah, Lawyer will reach in right there and knock him to the floor. He loses his balance going across the court. I know this is the beginning of the game, I am, but the energy level for Richmond on that last set offensively was terrific. And I like this substitution early, too, to take Lawyer out so you don't risk two quick fouls to throw him totally off mentally. Nice cut here. A little body bump from Kale. Ball fake. Burton pull up. Book it. Tyler Burton. He's improved every year now in his junior season with Richmond. And he gets the scoring started. You know, coming off 16 the last game, but one of the things you'll notice about both of these teams is the unselfish play and spacing. Lee, never shy, rims out. Cleared by Burton. Push up the floor. Gilliard was tremendous in the quarterfinals. Back door. Gilliard forced to give it up. Gilliard to the spot. Bottom. A three. That is just perfect Richmond basketball. Get it down the floor. If you can get a back door, fine. And this allows them to come into their press situation. Chris Mooney said, we're going to press today to rattle these guys. Michael Jones, push shot doesn't go. One of the things they want to do, try to get Davidson to play a little bit quicker. Whoa, man, what a collision right there. And Burton is going to get called for the foul as he runs into Huffman. Well, take a look at this. The bang right here over on the right side. Oof. And because Burton is moving, watch, he's moving in and lifts himself up. He's creating that contact on the screen, so a good call from the official. And now Burton will take a seat. He's replaced by Nick Sherrod, another graduate player who has stuck around just for this moment with a chance to go to the NCAA tournament for Richmond. The stumble, Brankovic nearly coughed it up. Manenga, contact. Manenga takes advantage off the window. You think he wanted to get to that little lefty hook that he has right there because he came through the middle of the lane very close with an extension of the arm just then on the defender. Huffman draws the assignment on Gilliard. Gilliard using the high screen. Killer crossover. Dish. K.O. lays it in. Beautiful setup by Jacob Gilliard. Yeah, not fair, too, with Brankovic trying to guard him when he brings that ball down about ankle high on that dribble. Outside. Three. Brankovic off the mark. Yeah, that's a shot. He shoots a lot. 42%, too, so effective in their offense. Gilliard. Spread it now. Golden gets a touch. Keep the ball moving for Kale. You get the ball moving and you cut away from the ball. Isolation. Head and shoulder fake. Kale with a tough hoop. That's why he's a 50 for 55% career shooter. 
Gets it down low. Very difficult to get a body on him to get him going in an opposite direction. Four-year starter for the Spiders. Nathan Kale puts Richmond in front 9-2. Here's the four of five from the field. There's that post up. Then they re-enter the ball. They keep it moving. Two-man game. Huffman can't hit the three. He was four of four from downtown yesterday. A good work by Gilliard, too, to get to the corner. Don't run away if you're a guard. Make sure you stick around until your team gets the ball. Slow start for Davidson. One of six from the field. Sherrod oh, off the window. Nick Sherrod, the Richmond native, puts early yes. day for them. 68 64 victory. Well, like all of this, an hour of sleep. That's why you were a little edgy. This <laughs> I was. What time is it now, Jim? I, have I have still no have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> 11 2 Richmond. Davidson did not trail yesterday, so already. Post-up opportunity, Menenga trying to use his body on Sherrod. Jump hook again. Menenga missed it. Rebound, Brykovic. Two defenders in the area and taken away by Kao. He had to put the ball down on the floor to get better positioning, but the second time he brought it down, trouble. Gilliard off the rim, no. That grace in the game, and he knocks it out of bounds. Now watch the defensive effort here. See, he's underneath the basket to begin. Watch the one dribble, but he doesn't really get much space on that. He gets stuck under the basket. Again, pressure from Richmond. Chris Mooney telling us they're going to pressure as much as possible to just throw them off their rhythm, even if it's just a tad. Yep, exactly. But they're usually pretty good against the press as they were yesterday in their game. Brykovich, diagonal feed, ball fake. Jones can really stroke it. That's a three. He was money in the first game they played earlier in the year. Really shot the ball well from long range. How about eight for nine from the three-point stripe in that game? He went for 29 points, an 87-84 Davidson win over Richmond on January the 14th. Gilliard, step back, Jay. Money. Nothing fancy there, right? Just bring it into the middle of the floor. Check it all out as a point guard and then back it out if you need to for your open shot. A five-year starter for the Spiders. Huffman nearly had to take it away. Brykovich, kick. Jumper, Jones, off. Rebounded by Sherrod. Sherrod will fire. Off the mark from three-point territory. Nick Sherrod. He's dealt with so many injuries, missed 2021 with a torn ACL, had a torn ACL in 18-19 as well. Yeah, in the last 10 games, he's been shooting that shot from three at about 40%. That's why he had the quick, quick shot on the break. Lee looking to get involved here. He averages 16 points per game. Huffman on a kick. Manenga, an open look. Bullseye on a three. Yeah, see, that goes to what Chris Mooney was saying earlier today to us on in terms of having his team don't wait for the catch to respond, but anticipate the pass and be there on a, def on a defensive assignment when he catches the ball. Late on that one, it cost him three points. Davidson now two of six from downtown. KO slid the feet. Basket won't count. It's a travel turnover. Richmond. Well, we mentioned that first meeting between these two teams. Davidson and Richmond on the 14th of January. Game tied at 84. Jones, a three ball with 3.3 left. Three-point victory for Davidson. They had a 15-game winning streak this season. Davidson was one of the hottest teams in the country. They ended up finishing 27-5, and five, including their victories here in the A-10 tournament. Yeah, I had an interesting in that game. Davidson turned the ball over 16 times also, which is unheard of for their team. Lawyer back in. Bochy Needham in, the senior. On the left, on the right. What is he going to do? Oh, oh, nice <laughs> duck in by Brykovich. His first two of the day. Nice little dance step in there. It's so hard when a center like that has multiple post moves. He goes left, he goes right, he comes back. You don't know where to stop. And as a defender, you're just caught in no man's land. A long line of international talent for Bob McKillop at Davidson. Brykovich from Austria. And the shoulder fake. Grace comes up short. Shots now not falling for Richmond. And another set right here. Let's see who touches the ball. Lee gives it up. Oh, Lee was open on the backdoor cut. Three-point lead for Richmond. Lawyer swing. 
Trying to keep the ball moving here with Lee. See the way they're reacting defensively, though? They're anticipating a catch, and they're right up in the shoulder. Turn around. Doesn't go for Jones. That's a Chris Mooney defensive set right there. Gustafsson, the senior from Finland, gives it up. Gilliard lets it fly. Can't hit the three. Uncontested the, rebound, Brykovic. Yeah, look at the balance with Richmond. Not that the Davidson team, Wildcats, are going to run it up the floor because they're not a fast transition team. Foul called on the interior as Lee got towards the rim. He'll shoot free throws when we come back. Foul on Gustafsson. So you think I'm going to go one way, which I am. But it and how that carries over game to game to game. They just know how to play right. with one another. There was a really outstanding flow, and they're trying to get back to that here today. Yeah, and I would say the one thing about both of these teams where they're similar in terms of occasionally, and I never did this as a player, you take a little time off at the defensive end, which I did a lot. No, no not never, you, right? Jimmy. But you can't take a second off on the defensive assignments with the way both of these teams play because they share the ball, they understand the offenses, and they backdoor and cut very yep. well. So if you fall asleep for a play, you're done. Good night. Yeah. First team all, A-10, Hung Jun Lee. Couple of the free throw line to cut the Richmond lead to one. It's been three minutes since the Spiders have scored. Can they get Golden involved here? Shot clock is down to nine. Better perimeter defense also by Davidson. Gilliard. To Golden, the push shot off the back of the iron. Taps it outside to Gilliard. Terrific effort. They've missed their last four shots. Catch and fire. Grace. That won't go. And Davidson has a chance to grab the lead. Grace hit a big three in yesterday's ball game. Part of their comeback. Lee double team. There's the back door. Watson gets it back from Lawyer. Lee one-on-one -on -one with Gustafson. The ball gets tipped. Gustafsson ricochets like a pinball. And it won't go down for Menenga. What a break, too, to get that ball back and just couldn't deliver it and finish it off. There you go. Back to a cut. Give and go. Tyler Burton. And it's Grant Golden with a tasty dish. Yeah, you go up to the top of the key area there and wait for the cut. You go over the top on that one. It's beautifully designed. Bochi Yeadham hands to Lawyer. Jump shot. No good. Box out there by Golden. That's one that Lawyer really usually puts down. Burton, the ball fake. Got cut off. We are just past the halfway point of this first half here in D.C. Well, he took a step. Well, Burton trying to do a little too much. Gets called for the travel. Coming up tonight on CBS, Queen Latifah is taking on the mob in the shows that critics call fresh and reinvigorating. It's The Equalizer, new episode tonight after 60 minutes, right here on CBS. You notice this high step here, he comes across, and then all of a sudden, what that play is designed to do is you wait as a passer just to watch the back of the head of the defender. If you can see the back of his head, you lob it over the top. Well designed and executed. Lee, clean look. Rebounded by Golden, the only active player with over 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds in Division One play. Two-man game, Golden and Gilliard. They've got ridiculous chemistry. They really do. They've been together forever. Burton. High archer goes. The touch from Tyler Burton. It's amazing when shooters get a dribble or two to get their body going in the direction of the basket, and it allows them to step into that shot, usually of the right-handed shooter with the left foot. He's the high man for Richmond with six. Brykovic passes out of the post, gets it back. The footwork against Golden anchors down. Good help comes. Ball fake. Lee. Rims out. Offensive board. Brykovic stripped to the ball. Gilliard nearly had it instead. Jones, the no look. Menenga hacked on the interior. So free throws here for Sam Menenga. How close with Gilliard to get that ball to with a scramble that was going on right here. Nice look. Just didn't get it to him quick enough to get the layup. Foul called on Grant Golden. And it is Menenga 
the native of Auckland, at the free throw line. Good strength, provides paint presence, but certainly can step outside, shoots at a 33% from long range. Get a substitution here. Lawyer will rotate in, and now Lee will get a breather for Davidson. So this is not something we saw a lot of yesterday yeah. with Lawyer and Huffman in the game together. Yeah, sharing it too. So Lawyer, Lawyer will try to get Huffman a couple of shots, especially on the wing, if he can create some opportunities. Made free throws for Menenga, 17-14, Richmond. He's got seven points to lead Davidson. Isaiah Wilson seeing his first action here in the championship game, the sophomore from Pittsburgh. Yeah, made his only three yesterday. KO, kick, Golden not looking to shoot. Gilliard needs some help. Burton, the dribble drive. Floater doesn't go. Rebounded by Jones. The lawyer could play off the ball. Huffman can handle it. Jones can handle it. Interchangeable pieces. Yeah, it really is. Nice look. Doesn't go for Michael Jones. Nobody on the offensive glass either. Gilliard with a little pace. Davidson, two of nine from downtown. Curtin looking to feed the post. You got a mismatch down there. That's why he was looking into Golden. Golden is matched up with Huffman right now. Kao turns to the baseline and is fouled by Manenga. Nathan Kinsa never satisfied until, <laughs> until the end of the game, but they've done a, a very good job to this point. Chris Mooney, winningest coach in Richmond history. Topping the legend Dick Tarrant, who did a terrific job for so many years with his spider program. Mooney was a four-year starter himself as a player at Princeton under Pete Carrill. And so many of those principles you see in what Richmond does. K.O., 47% shooter, nails a pair. But he told us something very interesting. He said, when we were there, we never said, hey, we're playing in the Princeton <laughs> offense. It was just the offense. That's who they were, that's who they were playing. And, you know, I think there was a misnomer over the years, I, in terms of, you know, people said as a turnover is going to go the other way. People saying the Princeton offense is like a slow down backyard style of play with old guys playing it well no princeton always had great athletic guys who could play understood they just have to go back door a lot so a turnover there for davidson 1914 lead for richmond and it's going the other way a collision tyler burton was looking to make his move and he's going to pick up number two as he made contact with jones Hey, coming up to now, sometimes when the defender is moving to get into position, the offensive player inadvertently does something because of the movement of the defender, which it makes it more difficult for the officials to assess on the fly. Gene, we appreciate it. Richmond leads at 19-14. The common foul. Lawyer. Whoa. He goes down. He was looking for a call, but he saves it. Love the action. The aggressive play for both of these teams. Lawyer trying to get untracked here. They've had tight defense throughout. Gustafson has had the assignment. Swing it inside. Shot clock winding down. Brankovic banks it home. Terrific patience and understanding of the where he was on the floor with Brankovic just then. You notice that catch turn. He says, I know exactly where I am to go off the window. Almost six minutes between field goals for Davidson. Richmond. One of the most experienced teams in the country in terms of games played. Gilliard with seven to shoot. Step back, Jay. Got it. It's a three. Boy, it's interesting the way he sets people up with his shooting. 36% but the ability to put the ball on the floor. And really with a purpose when he dribbles. He knows where he wants to get. 22-16. Richmond in front. Grant Huffman out of Aurora, Ohio, the sophomore. They're identifying the shooters defensively. Richmond is very well. Lawyer, ball fake. Wow. Doesn't go for Bochy Yeadham. Pretty wide open shot down low for him also. Gildiard with a head of steam cut off by Bochy Yeadham. Using time here, no rush for Richmond. They've got a six-point lead under six minutes to go, first half. What they try to do is they try to get you leaning a little bit. There it is right there so they can get something going towards the basket. The roll to the rim. KO operating. K 
can't hit the baby hook. Yeah, well defended because he went out about three feet further than what he usually likes to do down deep. Nice screen. Huffman zigzags to the hoop. Good understanding of how to use two guys in, on defense and one of your teammates on offense as screening. First two of the day for Grant Huffman. Bob McKillop telling us that his confidence is sky high right now. And a turnover by Gilliard. Gustafson trying to get in there on Lawyer, and he gives it right back. The steal for Sherrod. And we get a whistle here as Lee Cassell just had a chat at the scores table. Might have been a shot clock so, issue. Might be a possession issue. Uh, Gene Steratore has watched this as well. Jamie Ertl joins us. Yeah, it was the uh, the possession change, and yep. as the ref came down the court, he noticed the clock hadn't shifted, so he took two ticks off when they got the ball back, so that's why it's at 28. Makes sense. It, it's it co it's does... convenient sitting across from you. Know? I get to hear all this <laughs> it eavesdropping. Does, it does disrupt the flow, though, because it right does. at that point, it looked like you know, Richmond was looking to go pedal to the metal. Yeah. Kick it out. Gustafson. He's got a switch with Brykovic. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Yeah, there's the size, too. Jumper. Gustafsson in and out. Rebounded by Meninga. Four-point lead for Richmond. Davidson at 6 for 22 from the floor. Can't be totally dissatisfied with their only down four points. And a foul on Gustafsson out front as he clips Huffman. That's number two on Andre Gustafson. Gilliard will keep the action. Watch the screen here. Number one to get free a little bit. And he pulls it back. He sees this small guy with the ball versus a tall guy after the screener switches. That's money for him. He'll be able to pick that apart. They won't be screening the way, same way many times. So second foul on Gustafson. He's now on the bench for Richmond. 420 to play first half catch fire Lee Halfway down and out boy. That's two. He's a terrific catch and shoot player also He's had two very good looks that I think in his mind were probably buckets. They are two of ten from three-point territory A little delay cut here Sherrod the bounce golden rolls to the rim for the bucket Pretty work with the pick and roll on the right side. What's more important is on the left side, they have activity to keep that right side clear. Grant Golden in his sixth year with the program. And a foul is called. It was actually away from the ball. It had nothing to do with KO and Jones. Third time this season. And as mentioned, the Big Ten coming up here on CBS. Great games yesterday, especially Iowa winning the way they did at the end. Wild Bohannon Ooh, with yeah, the shot. shot. <laughs> Off the glass from straight on. Out of the timeout. Davidson is down by six, the number one seed. The stumble, turnover. sherrod has got another steal. Gilliard was a factor there, too, with his hand on the basketball. Richmond this season, 19-2 and two when allowing 71 points or fewer. They've given up 18 That's points. That's wild, especially against a team like Davidson that scores at about 74 or 76 usually. They are number two in the Atlantic 10 in scoring, the Wildcats. Again, no rush here for Richmond. Sherrod short, and Lee flies in for the rebound. See if the Davidson, Davidson can get a little bit of action with everybody touching the ball. Nice, nice five. Yeah, it really was. He's got Jones cutting to the rim for two on the setup by Lee. Yeah, Jones, that three-point shooter specialist, cuts to the basket, finds a nice spot right there. So that's an easy one for Davidson. On the other side, Davidson is 25-1 and one when they score 69 points or more. Right now it's 24-20. Richmond, step back. Gilliard, in and out. Rebounded by Menenga. Jones up the floor. Lee thought about it. Close out by Kao. Having a catch. Dump it into the paint. Brykovic had to get out of the paint, too. He was in. Jones got a three. There's the versatility of Jones. Smartly goes to the basket. The last possession and gets a layup. They don't respond to him quick enough on the wing. Nice kick out from the post also. You're not going to keep this offense down all day. No. They're too good. They space it. They touch it. They're unselfish. 
Gilliard couldn't convert on the inside. Davidson looking for its first lead. They never trailed in the semifinals. Huffman, penetration. Manenga, yes, sir! A corner three. Well, Davidson offense has just shown up consistently in the last three possessions, especially with that just a basic dribble towards the middle of the floor to get your shooters in a position to shoot. Eight nothing run. And they clear out now to see if they get some post action. Golden. Gotta go in a hurry. Pivots. Missed it on the floater. Brankovic defensively understood that set pretty well. Same spot. Lamengo won't take it this time. Swing it around the perimeter for Jones. Good time for a backdoor cut, the way they're leaning towards half cut court. One minute to play, first half. Rykovic using the body. Golden trying to create some space. Rykovic, wild attempt. And it's rebounded by K.O. You think these two know one another? A little bit. <laughs> they are anticipating moves. Crossover, Gilliard now will set up the offense with under a minute to play, first half. K.O., they clear out the area. K.O. at Menenga. Foul call. Oh, did you see that quick burst to the middle of the floor just then? Coming up, AT&T at the half. Greg, Clark, Seth. We've got the latest scores and highlights. Who's punched their ticket to the big dance, plus a preview of the Big Ten Championship, Iowa and Purdue. It's all coming up. AT&T at the half. So the Davidson offense is just terrific in terms of getting the shooters out on the floor. They spread you very nicely and make things happen. Foul called against Menenga. K.O. has an unusual yes. delivery at the free throw line, but it's been working so far as Bochi Yedem checks back in along with Lawyer, and it'll be Huffman and Manenga to the Davidson bench. Nathan K.O. from Montreal. Yeah, he does position it kind of in front of his body and brings it back. Little shot push action yeah. there. Yeah. You gotta be able to reduce the motion on a free throw like that. You basically bring it over. He gets it to that point. The ball's moving too much for him to be a consistent free throw shooter. Six second difference. Shot clock to game clock. We're winding down in the first half here in D.C. The Atlantic 10 championship. Lawyer defended out front by Wilson. Five to shoot. Brankovic misses on the three ball. It goes over the backboard with 8.9. So Richmond yeah. with a chance to regain the lead. Yeah, and if Davidson wants to be tricky defensively right now, I'm going to go left. i got to take a gamble and go left. Only two points for Golden, four points for Brykovic, 8.9 on the clock. With Davidson up by one. I like the full court extension right here. Get it into Gilliard. There's the foul. They had the foul to give. Good move. So he tosses it up, but the foul occurred well before the attempt. 5.2 on the clock. Yeah, and that's, that's just being aware of what's going on. Smart coaching. They wait until he gets to a point where he can do some damage with the ball. I wouldn't be surprised to see them do that again because that, that was just number team, fa team foul number four. They can do that. They have to be careful on the quick catch and shoot, though. Sherrod gets it in. Gilliard, three seconds, two seconds. Swing, jumper, brace off the rim. They got a clean look at the end of the half, but short. It's on the Richmond side of things, he, they, they told me defensively, if someone's going to beat us, it's going to be Sam Menenga. They feel like the other four guys are so much of an offensive threat that if he's going to beat them by three, and they're going to stick to that game plan. And Jamie Richmond had just three points in the last six and a half minutes of the first half. They trail by one. We start the second half here in D.C. A spot in the NCAA tournament on the line. The cut. Gilliard the finish. And the feed from Golden. When they were playing well in the first half, they got a lot of action out of the movement without the basketball. Here they're allowed now to come up and press a little bit. What is this designed to do? Not maybe turn the basketball over, but just slow Davidson down. Disrupt them just a little bit. The Spiders up by one. Lawyer gets cut off by Gilliard. Jones tight defense there from Gustafson. And a foul called on the floor. Gilliard thought he had it. And Lee got hacked on the interior. The timing has to be very good in terms of the pass in. And then I'll watch what happens with the delayed cut. 
Defender turns his back. That's just perfectly read from the post position, understanding when to go with that pass. First foul on Gilliard. Davidson, the Atlantic 10 regular season champions, went 15 and 3 in the conference. Nice handle there by Jones. He couldn't make the jump shot, and it's out of bounds. 15th regular season title under McKillop in his career. That's the Southern Conference and the Atlantic 10 Conference. McKillop now in his 33rd year as the head coach at Davidson. Same set. Get it to the post. It worked one time. No cut to the basket yet. Golden. Back in. Shows the ball. Finishes. Pretty once again. If you establish that post area, they pass it from the post very well. But Golden is very good coming off an 18-point outing against Dayton the last trip. He is in his sixth year <laughs> with the program. Medical redshirt is a freshman. 29-26 Richmond. I guess you could jokingly say you better know the plays by then, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tight defense, Lee. Nice work defensively by three guys on this side of the floor. The turnover, Golden. Forced to give it up. Burton, highly active. Keep it on the perimeter. Just about two minutes gone by in this second half. Backdoor cut, Burton. Did Golden get away with the travel? I don't know what that was, to be honest. Burton had it blocked from behind by Lee. Nice squeeze defensively, though, by Davis. Oh, look at this. He just tripped by himself. I Lawyer believe. spilled out. Gilliard scoops it up for the easiest steal he's had in his career. And he's had plenty of the block. Set up, KO, and lays it in. Richmond extends the lead. It's five. 7-0 start to this second half. Good body language at the defensive end for Richmond also. Lawyer kick. Menenga, he's had a major impact. Double team comes. Gets rid of it. Yeah, good release pass there on the bounce pass. Simple, but it worked. Still plenty of time. Eight to shoot. Lawyer makes his move. The bounce. Brykovich banks it home. He never left his feet. <laughs> that was a set shot layup. <laughs> good call. <laughs> You don't see it very often, Jimmy. No, we don't even have to analyze that. No, it speaks for itself. Move on. 31-28, Richmond. You do that, though, to get the shot off quicker. Gilliard circles. Gets oh. it back from KO. Got it. A three. Jacob Gilliard with a downtown hit. In his first half highlights, we saw him do that. Filled the open spot on the floor. He did it exactly the same way and the same results. 13 points. For Gilliard. Lawyer, the answer, yes. A three from the top of the key. Just hasn't been getting many looks, really. That's his first bucket from long range. He's one for three from the floor. His first points of the day averages just under 17 points per game. One of the best three-point shooters in the country. Yeah, at 45%. Step back, Gilliard feeling it. Oh, yeah! Friday night's win against VCU. He exploded for 32. Jumper Jones. Oh. Kaboom! Oh, a little pace going now on a Sunday afternoon. Both teams making shots. You know what month it is. 36-34. I almost forgot what it, what day it was. <laughs> was it the time change? it was Saturday for a second. Yeah, daylight savings <laughs> through you. Paul Fink, Burton, cut off. Gets it back from KO, nine to shoot. He likes to bounce it to the middle. KO, the spin. Wow. Tough delivery, it doesn't go. Rebound cleared by Brykovich. Davidson looking to run. Nice pull. Lawyer, pull up. Off the rim, no. Rebounded by Burton with Richmond up by two. Not a bad shot, though, for a guy who just hit his last three-point shot who knows he's a good shooter. Gilliard directing traffic. He wants KO to set a screen. Let's work it to the other side of the floor. Gustafson. Ten to shoot. Not much motion now. Here comes a little bit of it. Kick out. Jumper. Good! Gilliard! From deep. Almost in the category of ridiculous just then. The way he caught it on the back track just then. Here's another shooter. Lee! Nails it from long range. Warm it up. Han June Lee! <laughs> 39-37, Richmond. A little better pace in the first half, wouldn't you say? No doubt. The fake, Burton. Gustafson looking to give it up. 
Ten to shoot. Gilliard comes towards the ball. KO. Wow. Missed it on the inside. A lot of activity there to get to the rim. And Menenga that time defensively. 39-37, Richmond. Out on the perimeter. Lee puts it on the deck. Drive. Stripped to the ball. Gustafsson. And KO couldn't save it cleanly. Out of bounds. We get a time final win come from behind against Dayton. They were down by as many as 15 in the second half to the Flyers and advanced to the championship game. They had lost nine straight to Dayton before that victory. Jumper out of the timeout. Doesn't go for Michael Jones. A little set play for Jones on the right side this year. A little pick and pop. Matt Grace back in there. Intercepted. He telegraphed it, tossing it to Burton cross court. Yeah, I'm not sure how he thought that was going to get through. Yeah, that's seven turnovers now for Richmond. Lee, give it up. Huffman back in for the Wildcats. Good reaction to the catch. Hanging. He hits Michael Jones. Bob McKillops said he was basically a jump shooter when he came out of high school he has added to his game significantly and i told him to learn how to cut learn how to dribble the ball with a purpose and that was one right there with a little pull-up action he's got 13 points to lead the team gilliard gets through the first wave now he draws brykovic surprise he's not going after him post-up opportunity grace has the height advantage double team shot clock at five really? gilliard fake jumper off the rim and it's controlled by Jones. We are tied at 39. Seven minutes gone by. Second half. Lee. Catch. Shoot. Way off. Air ball. Pretty well defended again. Teams are going up and down in terms of their feeling a little bit. You see a couple of guys tilted over. Richmond trying to steal a bid from a bubble team with a victory here today. Burton's jumper. Boy, he gets a lot of arc on it. Sure does. He goes straight up with it. Hard to block. And now Richmond has gone into a scoring trout. Nearly three minutes. Davidson looking to regain the lead. Put it on the floor. Coach Yeadam cut off there by Sherrod. Cut. Corkscrew layup. Michael Jones gets to the cup. It's almost on cue what Bob McKillop told him to do this past summer. Learn how to cut and move without the basketball. Gilliard. No, no, no. Uh, the blow by, but the foul called before the release. So it's on the last two or three weeks playing, but I know they look at the whole body of work. Get it in for Burton. Both teams shooting it much better in the second half. A foul called in the post. Like Huffman reaching in. Richmond is at 55% in the second half. Davidson shooting it at 60%. Huffman picks up his first. 20 on the shot clock. Gilliard, the trigger man. 11.58 to play in regulation. Lob, Lob it up. Ooh. Burton, very athletic, but he couldn't finish it. He didn't have a great angle no, circling to it. You're right on the money on that. Going towards his right a little bit. Jones, okay. foul called. He lost the ball. But a foul against Richmond. Watch the difference, Ian, when he catches the basketball. Watch when he catches it. And where does he end up shooting it from? He goes flying across and just can't get his balance and square those shoulders towards the basket. Hey, Jones may have played a role. Touch, a touch. Defensively, that's yep. your job. Figure out a way <laughs> to make the play. Especially when you say, no, I'm going to get dunked on. Golden and K.O. back in. Gotta believe he's gonna try to get Lawyer involved. Open look. Manenga nails it. Davidson up by five. 13 for Manenga. He averages just under eight points per game. He is three of three from downtown. Golden will set a screen. Laying back just a little bit defensively right now. Golden. The dish to the outside. Gilliard with seven to shoot. Gilliard fakes on the penetration. Shot clock winding down. They're going to have to hoist it. Burton does. Oh, he's got it. A three. They had nothing going. You know, but that's an experienced team. They've been together a long period of time, and they don't get rattled even when the shot clock starts to disappear on them. 
44-42. Lawyer, it's a foul on the outside. Gustafson cannot believe it. One of the most important plays on this set was Gilliard ended up getting the basketball to his shooter because neither one of them had good positioning to begin with. On the other end, Gustafson has picked up his third foul. And it sends Foster Lawyer, the best free throw shooter in the country, at 93%. That's number three on Gustafson. Part of the Finnish national team. Pretty good shooting year for Lawyer, huh? Boy, 93% from the line, 45% from three. That's crazy. From Clarkston, Michigan, the transfer from Michigan State. He was a captain with Michigan State. That's how well thought of he was by his teammates. He's a captain with Davidson. Yeah, I think he's going to get more involved in this last 10 minutes and change. Four-point lead for Davidson. Wow. Right through the hands. Out of bounds. KO. Yeah, Golden was looking for a deflection just then. I didn't see one either, and the officials agreed. So the turnover by Richmond, that is number eight. They average just under 10 per game. Both teams do just under 10. Tough win in the game with Lawyer. That means they can both run the point and get more active. There's a little hit out front. And Gustafson from the four, right? It is. He has been a defensive presence here for Richmond, dealing with Lawyer mostly and sometimes Huffman. Trying to get through this screen right now, but he's... at. I understand what he's trying to do to create some havoc defensively, but way too close, especially when you just picked up your third, what, 30 seconds ago or less. So now Connor Crabtree will check in. Junior from Hillsboro, North Carolina. Brings toughness. Has not seen any action today. Lawyer pulls it back. 14 to shoot. Using the screen from Menenga. Ball movement leads to Jones. Turns the corner. And he's fouled on the baseline. He tossed a shot up, but I'm not sure he's going to get the free throws. So another foul against Richmond. It's Nathan Keo trying to get his shoulders around. And there was a bump before the shot. So Jones will toss it in. We're going to hit the midway point of the second half. Four-point lead for the number one seed in the A-10 tournament, Davidson. Open look. Menenga. Splash! Why did they run that set well? Bring everything to the middle of the floor and make sure your shooter anticipates the ball coming back to him. That was a well-designed play. He can't miss. Now Four of four from deep. Crabtree. And a foul is called. Crabtree looking for shots, and he may get it. Yeah, watch this. Watch the pop out. So he's going to sit there because the ball is coming there. Look at all the defenders. Where are they? They're all in the, the blue shirts. are all in the paint, guarding for the drive or the lob, and they just kick it out to a nice stroking three-point shooter. First, let's deal with the foul. Lawyer, Davidson questioned whether or not it should be shooting. The officials determine that Crabtree will get a pair. He shoots it at 71% at the line. Redshirt Jr. only four games last season because of a foot injury. They'll shuffle some players in and out as Bochi Yedem and Huffman sit. Brykovic, the Atlantic 10 player of the year, is back in there. And you talk about Crabtree just being ready to come off the bench. Huh? You never know. You just got, have to be ready. And Crabtree nails a pair of free throws to cut the Davidson lead to five. Gilliard is just going to try to hang with Lawyer as best he can. Gilliard is five foot nine, 160 pounds. Lawyer listed at six foot 175. Jumper doesn't go. Rainbow delivery from Jones over the back. It's Hunjun Lee. I think he had his hand on the ball at the top. I think Bob McKillop saw his hand on the bottom with a little bit of a push going towards the basket just then to get the rebound. Skilled swingman has been held in check. Five points for Lee. Comes from the left side, and that left hand just a touch on the lower part of the body. Lee is one of six from the field. Gilliard swing. Get something going towards the basket. There Burton. you go. Power move. Couldn't get the banker. And the rebound ripped down by Manenga. I like the thought process by Burton just then. Down five. Lawyer shifting gears. 
Picked up by the big. Jumper is short. Rebounded by KO. Gilliard looking to push the tempo. One man fast break at times, isn't he? And now his teammates join him down the floor. Under oh, nine minutes to go. Beautiful fake. Gilliard! <laughs> and Davidson got lost in the sauce. That's a good move by you as a play-by-play -play guy, because I thought he was going to pass that ball initially. He just hung with it. That was a beautifully executed dribble drive to the basket. 49-46. Davidson and hand it off for Jones. Brankovic on a kick, jumper, lawyer, rims out. And it's rebounded by Burton. Maybe a touchdown to the blocks. Get Golden involved. Gilliard. has got a mismatch, too, if they want to go for it. It is. is. Big against small. Yeah, give him some room. Golden. Help. Nice cut. Dish. Huh. Bounces off the hands of Crabtree. Turnover. Kale took a swipe of the ball. Menenga will handle and hand it to Lawyer. Weak side was strong Davidson defense on that one because Richmond had Golden right where they wanted him. Lawyer matched up with Gilliard. Lee. Look at Tend to shoot. Uh, look at the perimeter presence defensively. Lawyer. The back end. Watch the strip. strip there the you go. He goes to strip all the time. Well done. Gilliard. Race to the rim. He goes all the way. Sure does it. Boy, does he have the motors working, though. As we spoke about in the beginning of the broadcast. Ten Commissioner Bernadette McLeod in her 14th year always does a tremendous job with this tournament. Thanks to Drew Dickerson yep. as well, the head of communications for the A-10. This event consistently yeah. delivers. They sure does. And they, de they deliver and Agreed. make our job so much easier. So we thank them all. 53-51. Davidson in front. Grace hands it off for Gilliard. He's trying to carry this team to an NCAA tournament bid. A foul called on Huffman. Team number 7 2, so he'll go to the line. So a one and one here for Jacob Gilliard. So good with the basketball, how to continue the crossover. And it's not much of a hit, but it's, it's physicality out front. 23 points, 15 in the half. And he is money at the free throw line. You know, Friday he had that 32 points that we mentioned, I, and he came back with on Saturday with 11. Maybe the legs were a little, mm -hmm. little shot. And then you get another day, you come back this afternoon, and he looks pretty fresh to me. Knotted up at 53 apiece, 6:32 on the clock. Still extending their defense. Remember, they wanted to rattle Davidson a little bit. 6.30 left in this game. They want to continue to try to get them out of their easy flow offense. Coach Yeadham gives it up. Lee can't hit the three. Rebounded by Brekovic and a reload here for Davidson. Well, you forget those long shots. Sometimes they hit the rim and come kicking out. Jones needs some help. Brekovic, a back in against Grace. Brekovic. Oh! A Washington wedgie! <laughs> Yeah. That would be a possession call, but there was a foul called on this play. Oh, the foul N nullifies the wedge completely. It's like the wedgie yeah. never happened. It's it. It was, it was only a dream. It was a good call on your part. <laughs> <laughs> Brykovich, 64% shooter. These guys are stepping to the line, aren't they? Calmly. Yes. 11 of 11. And Richmond is 10 of 11. Nails a pair. 55-53, Davidson. We hit the six-minute mark in regulation. Grace gets rid of it. Burton. The dribble drive. The spin denied on the inside. And a jump ball. Bochi Yeadham got in there. And possession arrow to Davidson. Yeah, I think Chris Mooney was arguing that he got hit first, then the tie-up second. So he goes across. Uh, there's some arm action before the tie-up there. Davidson with possession, two-point lead. Lee puts it on the floor. 
The ball gets knocked out of his hands. He's allowed to get it. It was tipped. Yeah, no, that was tipped. Exactly. Lee picked up by Burton. Huffman, the back in. Shot clock at six. Lee hunting his shot. Air ball on a three. Rebounded by K.O. Good rebound there by K.O. That's barely touched, if at all. Grace ready. Can't hit the three. Bucks out Brykovic. I'm wondering how long it's going to take to get Golden back in this game. Golden shearing from the sidelines right now. We're going to hit the five-minute mark of the second half. 55-53 Davidson. Think some bubble teams are nervous right now? <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> He's got size here. Brykovic using it. Fake. Oh, that's tricky. It sure is. But it's a delayed scoop just then. He understands where the defensive player has bodied him up. Okay, if you're going to force me because your body is forcing me to that side, I'll take it. A blast by Gilliard. Couldn't finish it. Brykovic keeps his balance with the rebound. His 11th board to go along with 10 points. And terrific closure there by the weak side by Davidson. Uh-oh, maybe a push off or no? Oh, 10 seconds. It is. Wow. They took too much time because Richmond provides that pressure. They make you think. One man pressing unit in Gilliard. You look at Gilliard going over the top. He's a pest. Yep, he sure is. And that was a 10 second violation. That was a great catch by the officials. 57 53 Davidson, 420 on the clock. Gustafson has checked back in playing with those four fouls and Golden returns for Richmond Maybe a quick touch for Golden Out high Gilliard swing Burton lets it fly can't hit the three long rebound Huffman's got it for Davidson Big possession right here for both teams. Getting some more separation on the board for Davidson. Oh, man, he's quick. Isn't he, Gilliard? Nearly had a steal. <laughs> Huffman gives up his dribble. Lee comes to the ball. Huffman goes the other side. Bochi Yida. Watch for a backdoor cut eventually. Eight to shoot. Tight defense outside. Burton on Huffman. The drive. The fake. It doesn't go. Rebound. Knocked to the outside. And Davidson's got it. Huffman gets hacked. The foul. On Burton, number example of the leadership Gilliard has with this team. And Jamie, when we asked Mooney about this run in the A-10 tournament, he said, "We're playing with composure, yep. taking care of the ball, making big shots, all the ingredients you look for for a run like this." And I, and I know they're only down four points, but this team won six games this year when they were down by 14 points. So they don't quit; they hang in there and they stay with you. A resilient group trying to pull off a shocker this week to get to the NCAA tournament. Go to the basket. There you go. Get it going. Get it moving a little bit. Shot clock winding down. Gilliard. He's going to have to launch it. Gilliard. Air ball and a shot clock violation. One of the few poor sets by Richmond. Neither one of these teams have really had poor offensive sets. And that is 11 turnovers for Richmond today, above their season average. Lawyer in for Huffman, 3.04 to go. This is a good matchup right here. Both of these guys like to take over games, both wearing zeros. Lawyer defended by Gilliard. Four point lead for Davidson. Brykovic. Working against Golden, Brykovic. And a foul called on the floor. Both teams, though, are in the bonus. And the team fouls piling up for Richmond. Two free throws. Golden picks up the personal. Brykovic to the line. Yeah, the two hands is what they caught him on. Davidson is now 13 of 14 at the free throw line. Huffman back in. He replaces 11 points, 11 rebounds for Luka Brykovic. Although with a guy with this much experience, you would think wouldn't have an effect. Oof, but it did. And he missed it. 
And again, we're going to have another stoppage here with the officials coming together. Richmond is getting very frustrated yeah. that it's affecting their flow. Yeah, Burton thought something that he may have been called for something, but this may be an inadvertent whistle, really, because that's all that amounted to. Richmond trying to get the offense going again. Only two points in the last four minutes and change. High point lead for Davidson. Burton, nice move. Hangs and he draws the foul. Real good ball fake. And he recognized the big on a smaller guy out front. Rykovic came out and switched on him, and that allowed him to go in. Now watch that ball fake. Show it. If you get that ball fake up higher than your shoulders or your head, you're going to get somebody to bite on it. Nice and delivery. That is the fourth foul on Michael Jones. Free throw, no good. Burton's an 80% shooter. And he keeps the rotations coming in. Offense and defense, yep. doesn't he? For Davidson. Huffman has been in there for defense. Lawyer has been in there for offense. And a second attempt here for Tyler Burton. Splits a pair. 58-54. Davidson. We're down to 2.27 to play. They back off the pressure. And it's smart. Give Jones the ball. He's playing with four, but give him the ball so he's keeping away from Gilliard on the defensive side. Now Lawyer gets a touch. Oh, that could go the other way. It will. It bounces off of Lee. Out of bounds. And the tough defense of Gustafson. Ninth turnover for the Wildcats. Another guy playing with four fouls, but watch him come after the shooter, Lee. Gets it, and right off his leg. Great call. Great awareness by the officials. So again, Bob McKillop will make changes here as Bochi Yeadam and Huffman check back in. It is Lawyer and Menenga to the bench. Yeah, I see what he's doing, offense and defense, but sometimes from a player's perspective, it takes you out of your rhythm. Grace for Golden. Keep moving without the ball. Two minutes to play. And Grace hit a big shot from three. Burton lines it up. Too much on it. He overcooked it. And Richmond having a tough time generating offense. They trail Davidson 58-54. to 54. No field goals over the last six minutes of game action. A tough team to play the fouling game against also. Lee gets it back. Shot clock at 12. Double team. Dump. Oh! He fills the lane and a big bucket. And did Lee ever bring Golden out of the paint? Gilliard denied. Oh. Rebound. Bucket and a foul. Tyler Burton. Richmond's still alive. Yeah, Burton makes up for that miss on the three-point shot. Well, you watch the action. How do you get the big guy out of the play? You take it around the corner and watch here. And right there, he leaves the spot in the middle of the floor. Nobody can get there from the weak side. And a terrific decision here by Gilliard to get the ball going towards the basket. And a better follow-up here by Burton, who goes to the line, needs to make this one. It is a three-point game with 122 remaining. Richmond fans on their feet. Straight up defense. Lawyer handles the pressure. A little bump. And they're going to get the call on Burton. Sending Lawyer to the free throw line. Isn't it funny how guys who know how to shoot free throws end up with the basketball at around the one minute mark? And watch him put on the brakes. And Burton can't put on his brakes. Mm. Mm. That's a tough call. And this is a smart play by yes. Foster Lawyer. Yeah, it sure is. He came back just a little bit. He can establish that position. Foster's dad, John, played at Akron, longtime NBA assistant coach. Now with the Clippers in the scouting department. Great guy, too. Terrific guy. His mom, Katie, played volleyball at Indiana. Oh, look at those numbers, 93%. They put a blindfold on him. Yep. Those are no doubters. 62-57. <laughs> Davidson. 117 to play. Uh, a lot of activity at the offensive end. Keep the ball moving, but go towards the basket with it. Gilliard gives it up. Burton. 108 to play. Burton the drive. Burton. Three. Got it to go and a foul. So many times.
you see teams I am that they look at the scoreboard and they say, oh, we're down five points. We need to put some big points and big home run shots up there. This is a well-oiled machine in terms of experienced players. And look at Burton. Gets his shoulder in, goes to the basket, and draws two guys to squeeze and finishes it off. That is just a terrific move, not only on the move itself, but with the shot and clock. 15 points, 12 rebounds. Trying to cut it to two. Still another straight-up defensive effort here for Richmond. I'm going to put the pressure on a little bit. I'm sure this guy, Lawyer, is going to try to keep the ball. They're going to try to get it out of his hands. Gets it ahead. Brykovic. Jones for Menenga. And Davidson has to get a score here, so they can't just sit on this ball. Way too much time on the clock. We're down to 50 seconds to play. 62-60, Davidson in front. A-10 championship. Lee, fake, Lee. Off the mark. And the door is open for Richmond. Same exercise. Try to think going towards the basket. Richmond down by two. Cross. Burton. Pull up for the tie. No good. And it bounces off of Menenga. Out of bounds. And Richmond will retain possession. The shot clock. So you have to be thinking with Gilliard and, and Burton also. But keep in mind, in yesterday's game, with a minute and change left on the clock, Grace hit a big three for the Richmond team. But I'd like to see it going towards the basket in a hurry right now if you're Richmond. And if you have to kick it out for the three, you, you take it. Down by two. Gilliard gets it in. He's got to get it back. There you go. We're down to 25 seconds to play. Grace, the drive. Grace, back in. Oh, to the game, and the foul. Richmond with a chance to take the lead. It wasn't like yesterday, but boy, did he ever come through in the clutch. The three yesterday came with a minute and change, a minute and 40 on the clock. He doesn't have it. He's looked. They set him up for a three just then. But I'll tell you, Ian, that was a muscle play. And watch here. He's getting bumped. He's getting hit. He's getting grabbed. And somehow figures out a way to muscle it through the basket. And now the free throw. 85%. Richmond up by one, 19 seconds left. Well, you ever talk about two plays in consecutive games by a chance to go to the big dance. Well, you know, Gillard, Gilliard's going to be all over Lawyer to try to get the ball out of his hands, but Davidson has to get this ball up the court in a hurry. I don't see them sitting back and taking the last shot. They want to go and get a shot up at least around the seven-second mark. We're down to 12 seconds left. Davidson down by one. Lawyer. Jumper on the way, off the rim, no! Rebounded by Richmond and a foul given with 2.9. The Spiders can taste it. Five points, 17 in this second half. Playing in a graduate year for Richmond. And keep in mind right now, Ian, if he hits this shot, it gives him a three-point lead. And Chris Mooney... Likes the foul in these situations. 2.9. They have to get like a quick hitter going up the floor if you're Davidson. Oh, they missed. missed the second. Wow. And a foul. Nope. 64, 62, Richmond. Jones, the baseball pass, the catch. They called another timeout if they caught it clean. They did. A chance here. May not have time to get it back to the shooter. First catch has to go. Here comes Loyler. Loyer. Inbounder. Get it in. Fire. No good. The Spiders are dancing for the first time since 2011. It's a surprise run.